In this next electrical example, we'll take a look at a little bit more related to circuits and design options. So we'll use the add to set command for these two receptacles that are on circuit three, I believe. So because those receptacles are in this, the primary design option, they still transfer load to the primary model. So the panel board schedule didn't change. Now we'll use add to set again. And instead of going to a primary option, we're going to go to a secondary option. And immediately we get a warning about the circuit being deleted because there's nothing on it any longer. It's interesting that the warning looks a little bit different because of the way that the elements were removed from the circuit. Now we're going to make an alternate plan for level one power. We'll go into visibility graphics and on our design options tab, we'll select the alternate design option. So we can see the elements there for that secondary design option now show up in this view. We'd want to do the same thing for the Revit link. This particular part of the architectural model doesn't really have anything different here, but that's what you'd want to do to be consistent. What's interesting is that if we place, so I switched into edit mode for the alternate. So we're in the edit mode for the secondary design option where we can add geometry. And as I mentioned in a previous video, loads can be calculated or, or added up within a secondary design option. So we're gonna place a new panel board, call it panel B. We're gonna circuit these two receptacles. Uh, they were removed from a circuit once they went into a secondary design option because they were connected to a circuit in the primary or the main model, I should say. So here is a panel board schedule for a panel that's in the secondary design option that's showing a load from secondary design option electrical elements that are connected to it. So if there were uh, two extra classrooms, for example, at the end of a, a teaching wing in a school, you could add a panel to calculate all the loads for those two extra rooms. And maybe that panel's hidden because that panel might not exist even if the alternate is taken. So elements that are in secondary design options can be uh, excluded or intentionally added to schedules. And that's a quick look at how electrical elements work within the context of design options in Revit.